our standpoint as a school district, we more and more are uh, doing uh, online learning or providing online learning opportunities for students um, that they can access from outside of school, at home, at their own pace. And so one of the things that we uh, uh, really want to make sure is that from an equitable standpoint that all students have access to uh, the kind of uh, networks that will allow them to access the, the classes from home. Uh, and then also even uh, our traditional classes in, in, in our buildings that we have students who uh, are able to uh, or need to access uh, online material uh, and things like that from home. And so uh, having um, a greater opportunity for families to be able to do that and, and, and hopefully uh, offering more affordable opportunities for parents will allow us to uh, reach a greater or, or to ensure a greater uh, portion of our student population and their families have access to um, high-speed uh, connectivity. Having access to technology wherever they go, whether it's at home or in the community, uh, and then knowing how to use that uh, both as a learning tool uh, and as a way to, um, to connect to whether it's an online class or a group of students that they're working with um, virtually is a big part of uh, student learning right now. And so we're, we, you know, that's part of uh, giving our students in the school district more options on how to personalize their education, but also at the same time helping to prepare them for how they're going to access the world once they leave our schools. And so that's part of our job in the school district is, is to figure out how to best prepare our students to be successful in the world they're going to experience once they leave our schools. At the school, clearly the access is there um, both from the the uh, connections to the internet and, and online connections as well as the, the hardware. Um, and we, we have uh, provided opportunities for students to uh, who may not have a computer at home or a laptop to have the opportunity to check those out from the school in the evening if they need them. The one thing we, we, we haven't been able to do uh, in terms of ensuring, while well, we can ensure them to have access to the hardware, the computer, uh, we, we don't have 100% of students necessarily have Having, uh, access to high-speed internet connection at home and so what we hope that this would do is to um, make that more possible and so that we could feel comfortable that uh, that that all of our students had these same um, the same access and so that's why we would be really excited about this opportunity in the Ann Arbor uh, community How this would be really helpful is one of the issues that we have um, is the when 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 we if we wanted to have students be able to download videos, uh, audio, those kind of things, the bandwidth required to do that uh, is, and we go through that on the county level, and so it 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 becomes more and more difficult to to uh, have throughout the county students doing that with the current bandwidth that we have, and so being able to. Uh, add additional bandwidth as a cost that is difficult for us to uh, in school districts to bear right now and I do more and more with online classes for credit recovery and classes which require streaming video and all of those kinds of things um, that they can access both in school mm -hmm. and at home and and then there's just a, a variety of, of, of ways that they're using the technology but the the use of, um, of multimedia uh, videos whether it's through a course or otherwise is becoming more and more prevalent and needed. We have a students who do very well academically and, and who go on to uh, do very creative things in their career and, and after they leave us. And so I suspect you might see uh, with this kind of availability more students, particularly when they reach the high school level, um, you know, outside of school coming up with interesting ways to use technology that benefits them as students and uh, also helps them to create new opportunities, whether it's from an entrepreneurial standpoint or from an academic and learning standpoint. Thank you.